I knew it. Uh, Southminer said he took the. trail man shit speaking of which this is a second morning in a row i haven't shit what the fudge man my internals must be all fucked up uh, must be pregnant i don't know anywho i was hoping that fucking asshole would uh that weekend warrior dick would have come over by my tent this morning of course they all fucking slept in this motherfucker i want to elaborate on this because it pissed me off last night and it, it took me a while to get to sleep because i was steaming over this motherfucker there's a group of like five of them, all right? Typical weekend warrior bullshit. Brand new fucking gear. They probably use twice a year. And then they come out here, Yellowstone, thinking they're fucking Davy Crockett and shit. They all got their big Bowie knives on their fucking belts and shit. It's like, fuck you. So then I show up there. And then I'm like, I was polite as hell. I'm like, oh, they must have just double booked this all, whatever. I'll go on the other side of the trail. So I did. And then I get set up. I'm sitting in my fucking tent. And this one leader of the fucking group of the assholes comes over to my tent and starts questioning me about, well, so where'd you come from this morning? I said, I came from Grant's Village. He's like, you hiked all the way from Grant's today? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. That was a short day, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Walking five miles and setting up camp? Fuck you. So then, then he starts asking me where I'm going tomorrow. I'm like, look, motherfucker, you want to see my permit? That's all you need to fucking know. I got a permit for this goddamn campsite. And he's like, I, he's like, I paid for this site. I'm like, well, just because you paid and I didn't makes you fucking better than me. Fuck you. He's like, who said anything about money? I said, motherfucker, you just said you paid for this goddamn site. So what the fuck are you talking about? Anywho, I had to get the fuck out of there before I started getting a fist fight. Started fighting in front of all these chattering crackheads and shit. I need to calm the fuck down because it's a beautiful goddamn morning. We're four miles to Old Faithful. And it should be a glorious fucking sight, man. It's going to be a great, great, great fucking day. place holy fucking tourist trap jesus christ man i didn't think it'd be this bad well you gotta see old faithful that was cool very underwhelming though in my opinion i mean it was cool but not what you think and if i would have panned out of that video there's eight fucking billion people here it's just on a random ass fucking monday it's retarded 
And then I just sat at the uh, general store. It wasn't just sitting in a rocking chair for like four fucking hours. Ate two pints of ice cream. Bought a uh, two breakfast sandwiches and a coffee, which cost me 18 fucking dollars. But uh, here we are. Um, tourists walking on this pavement for a while. I decided to get a permit for a night rather than walking into Idaho and long ass water carry. So I got a permit for uh, Summit Lake, which is only 10 miles out of here. We'll camp here tonight, cross Idaho border tomorrow. That is the plan. 10 miles to do. We'll see you fuckers there. So that's cat mine. Uh, Summit Lake, beautiful lake. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Sun's gonna be setting right behind that thing. Um, 10 miles to here, wasn't bad. A little upsy uh, at the beginning, but we made it. It's flat for like six of the 10 miles. Uh, got me a nice, uh, it's like a blending with the tourists. Got me a new, new beanie because I lost mine a little while back and it's starting to get chilly at night. So got me a Yellowstone hat, nice and comfy. Um, so, we are sitting at mile 1,998. Two miles to 2,000. We are currently sitting uh, six miles to the Idaho border. Once we cross the Idaho border, we are immediately going into Montana. Like, we're in Idaho for like, <laughs> not very long. Um, because we're all taking the Big Sky Alternate, which I've mentioned before. I'll explain that more if you're not familiar with it. Once I get to West Yellowstone, but we're uh, sitting like 41 miles-ish to West Yellowstone. So it'll be tomorrow, and then they'll probably get in there with lunch on Wednesday, which is good because they're calling for rain on Wednesday, so hopefully we beat that. Um, tomorrow we got a long-ass water carry. The main reason I wanted to stay here um, and be able to grab water at this lake is if I push tomorrow, if I was to push farther tonight, I couldn't go that much farther, and it would have been a long fucking water carry. So I'll be able to load up here tomorrow, and from this spot to the first water is 26 miles tomorrow, which is going to be shitty, but... It's mostly downhill, it looks like, from the map, and I think partial, partial, part, partially of it, part of it is on a road walk downhill, so 26 miles shouldn't be that bad with no water. I'll probably load up two and a half, three liters. I might just load up my max. I think I got, what do I got? Two, three and a half. Well, yeah, I might all haul like three liters. It should be plenty for 26 miles, especially if I get an early start tomorrow. So, that's the plan. I camp fairly early. It's like 6.30ish. Um, I was hoping my buddy from last night, touristy fucking weekend warrior asshole, was going to show up here tonight. But, oh yeah, he probably can't hike these kind of miles. Ten miles is unspeakable to, to assholes like that. Anywho, um, glad I escaped that tourist trap. You know, if you want to go see the geysers, they're cool. I, I, I didn't see the big deal, quite honestly. I'm glad I saw them, but... It wasn't that great, and having that many fucking people around, I get anxiety anyway, so you can't really fucking enjoy it. At least I couldn't. I had to get the fuck out of there, so. All right, enough babbling for me. I'm going to relax for the evening. I'll let you fuckers in the morning. <laughs> 